All right, Gojo Clan, here's the part two to Quilin, I believe is how his name is actually pronounced, not Kylin. If I'm still butchering it, I do apologize, guys. I am trying. But just to kind of give you guys a quick little disclaimer for anybody that's truly interested in the glyph setups, because I do read the comment section and I see people are interested in my glyphs, go ahead and yeah, it's at the end of the video. You know what I'm saying? So you can either stay and watch the whole thing, which you should do, or you can skip ahead. If I didn't already put timestamps in there, it's at the end of the video for the glyph setup. So now that I've actually had plenty of time to play this character and learn some of the things, one of the quick little tips that I want to start off the bat giving you guys is the F, I believe the F2 ability is his choke. So one thing that I found out is when you actually use the choke ability, you guys could use it, cancel it really quickly and throw in maybe one or two moves before you activate the kick. You don't have to choke and then kick. You could choke, let go, go and fight and then kick. But you gotta keep in mind, y'all, that this, it's only about a one and a half, maybe to a full two seconds of a timer before the kick just disappears and goes away. So if you mess up or if the enemy hits you, then you're not gonna have the type of time you need to activate that kick again. But you guys are gonna see in some gameplay and some clips that I actually am able to pull it off and get the combos. The timing is very, very important, y'all. Like that's the biggest, thing is the timing but another little trick that i actually like to do with it is if i've already activated my ultimate and typically speaking the v2 not the one when i activate the v2 and then i go in there and i charge it up to a blue focus and then i slice the opponent i can activate my skill really quick grab them hold them in the choke animation and then once that shadow clone the phase whatever you want to call it comes through and hits them it'll give you the damage while you're still choking them and then you can activate the f again kicking them in the air and then getting into another set of combos and that's just one of the few ways you can do it you can keep applying the pressure with your ultimate obviously because it's not like it's deactivated so you can keep getting some free licks off there and if you didn't activate the ultimate whatsoever you guys already kind of got an idea if you vertical strike somebody after you've hit them with a long set of combos and then you activate the choke and then you hold them there again like i said you can then cancel get into another combo the, again like i say y'all the list goes on and i'm actually interested in what you guys find out combo wise and let me know about because we all can help each other here we're all friends we're all a part of the gojo clan and then a little bonus tip that I guess I'll throw in here for you guys, because I know sometimes I get it in my comment section, people asking which weapon do I feel is best for a certain hero. So I guess we'll start it off with this one. I think what's going to help you get the maximum amount of potential out of him is probably going with either the dual blades or the dual halberts or alberts. Y'all know, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I always call them the halberts. The reason I say that is because they're quick, they push out a lot of damage, and they don't typically launch your opponent extremely far, which allows you to keep the combos going, especially when you're using, again, y'all, the choke ability. So for me, I think that's where I had the best outcome for him. Again, I think the katana works really well too because the katana keeps the enemies pretty close, hits them for a lot of quick, fast damage, especially if you can blue focus strike them. So really good to probably go with one of those two but i mean he a killing machine so honestly go with whatever weapon you prefer i just think i had the best experience with one of those two weapons so that's gonna do it for my little intro part of it sorry if that was long and drawn out y'all this video is gonna be a long one and again for everybody in the back the glyph setup is at the end of the video so just stay tuned for that i'll show you guys exactly how i was running them and i i will explain why i was running him like that so with that enjoy the rest of the video a little crazy let's see who's over here this is my first fight of the day y'all be easy with me okay because i know y'all y'all be ready to, to come at your boy mm. Mm. Nice. Two. It seems like they gave me a bot. Mm. I believe they did. And that's okay. You gotta be kidding me. I'm 
go and kill myself. Uh oh, somebody else is here. Stop. Oh, three you down there, huh? Come here. to get out of the middle of this because I was in danger stranger day come here stop Oh lord, there's somebody else? There's somebody's! Oh! We don't want to be in that. No, no. Uh-oh. Where'd you go? Nice old. <laughs> hey, gave him crazy work. Yeah. Found them. Oh, it's you again. Come on, I know you can still see me. I still got the bounty on my head. Cool. I thought I parried that. Let's go. Not a bad first game. Jump down. Okay, got through them quick. Sorry, y'all, I got quiet for a second there because I was like, mm, I got a feeling that I might lose this if I don't focus up. But I didn't because I focused. If you guys cancel the choke 
mid like after you choke them and everything like that instead of actually activating it again and kicking them into the air you get to like cancel it and stall for a second you don't get that much time like a second and a half maybe two seconds total but you get to reactivate the ability and you get to kind of like extend your combo but it's like very very precise timing and everything like that so i'm trying to see if it's doable with these um these fisty fists I missed twice now. There's more? Them has got to be AIs over there, too. All right. Well, time to call in another bot. Oh, no. It's a real person. I hear him. He running from somebody. There they go. Oh, I see both of them. I see both of them, y'all. Hold on now. Time to get busy. Time to get more busy. Oh, it's, it's a lot of them. Oops, I didn't time you right. Nope, back up. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Go ahead, T, go, go, go. Mm. gotta repair this too somebody behind me no cool mm. come here Nice. your body perfect to finish the game come on now goodbye I'm like that Twelve of them things, almost 20k damage. Not bad.
All right, Gojo Clan. Now, as promised, at the end of the gameplay video, man, I wanted to show you guys the glyph setup that I actually had. Now, this, this one is a little different. You guys see, I still have one of the things in my luck category. Now, you can get rid of this, and then you can fully max out the purple. You don't necessarily need to, but you could. I got the red fully maxed out on the top right side of it. So just fully bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? Again, you could take out this one if you want. I would leave it in there personally, but you can take it out and you can put that there and then have one on the purple instead. But this build, man, I mean, as you guys can see, you get your ult really fast. I didn't have a problem with getting my skill back. The problem I had was actually timing up the, the landing for my skills so that I can land the combo the rest of the time. But, you know, we'll get better as the time keeps going on and we keep playing more and more and just learn that, that drop rate. But this, this so far to me is a really good build. You guys know normally I would probably put something over here in the Omni so I could have more stamina. I didn't have that big of an issue with it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all about micromanaging how much of your stamina you're actually using. And then obviously I'm going with the second skill, which is the choke and then the second ultimate. Now you could also replace the ultimate with the first one if you wanted to. All right, well, Gojo Clan, that's going to do it for the video, man. Like I said, this was a longer one, so... You know, I hope you were ready for it. The next video, man, I'm putting my care and effort into that video because I, I enjoyed it, honestly. I had a lot of good moments on there and I actually got in there with somebody that I ain't got on the rocket with in a cool minute. So be sure to stick around for that video, man. That is coming out this week as well. You see your boy dropping the content, so stick around, turn that notification bell on and sub to the channel, man. But with all that, as always, Gojo Clan. Be safe out there. And piece of hair grease.